Hello students, once again welcome to Gulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the preparations of borings. In last video we students, we have seen the what are borings and its classification. Now in this video students, we are going to see the preparation of borings. How we are going to prepare the boron systems? So, which are the raw material required systems that is called as boron trioxide? If you have boron trioxide, when it will react with the hydrogen gas is heated in presence of aluminium at 150 degrees Celsius and 750 atmospheric pressure, diborane. You are getting compound called as what? Diborane is formed. Understanding students, this is our compound. So, this way we can prepare first preparation students. This way we can prepare the diborins that we and we can say what borins. So raw material is what boron trioxide react with hydrogen gas in presence of aluminium. When you heat at 150 degrees Celsius, 750 atmospheric pressure, it will form diborin and aluminium trioxide. Understanding students. Second preparation students when gases boron trifluoride with reducing agent like sodium hydride in presence of polyether at 180 degree temperature, it will form boron. Diborin. Understanding students, if you have boron trifluoride, react with reducing agent sodium hydride, 180 degrees Celsius in presence of polyethers as a solvent, you will get what? Diborins and sodium fluoride. Now, third preparation students, boron trichloride. If you have boron trichloride as a raw material, now it is having what? Boron as a atom. Understanding that is why we have to selected this boron trichloride. Boron trichloride react with lithium aluminum hydride. Understanding students, this is a very important reducing agent in presence of diethyl in this solvent students, we are reacting these two reactant. What happens to it from lithium chloride, aluminum trichloride and our compound that is called as diborins. Understanding? Fourth preparation students, if you have boron trifluoride, the so four, four molecules of boron trifluoride react with three molecules of sodium boron hydride. In presence of diethyl ether, you are getting sodium boron fluoride and you are getting diborins. Understanding students? Now here students, one more way you can prepare this sodium boron hydride react with concentrated sulfuric acid you are getting sodium sulfate hydrogen gas will be eliminated and you are getting what diborins so these are the preparation students we can prepare the borons one more students preparation is called as preparation we can prepare the preparation of higher borins if you want to prepare higher borin like this this is called tetra borin penta borin and hexa borins so what happens students there the temperatures are playing very important role if you have diborin if you heat at 200 degrees celsius you are getting what tetra borin and your hydrogen gas will be eliminated understanding students if you have diborins students 200 to 250 degree if you heat you are getting penta borin understanding now if you want to heat students if you want to get hexa borin students you have to heat at 150 degree and slow heating it will take you have to slowly slowly heat this compound so this compound will convert into b6 s12 understanding that is called as hexa borins understanding students so these are the preparation students now we are going to see the properties once you prepared the borins students what are the properties these borins are having that we are going to see the first property students boron borins are fairly reactive and are sensitive to air and moisture understanding it is very reactive to air and moisture borins are heat sensitive also it is also very sensitive to heat all borins are susceptible to hydrolysis and the reaction can be used to establish the structure chemistry of boron by analysis of quantities of boric acid this is the boric acid students so it will go the hydrolysis so this way we can analyze which type of compound it is boron hydride react with the water molecules and it is forming what boric acid and there is a number of hydrogen will be eliminated like this so from this we comes to know this boron hydride is which type of borons understanding students so this way we can identify the borons and with the help of the hydrolysis understanding students now we are going to see one more property students when borons react with the ammonia at low temperature to form adduct understanding this boron students will going to be joined with the ammonia and it is forming adduct compound understanding this is the negative and this will be what positive these are the type of adduct salts you are getting when boron react with the excess of ammonia at high temperature now here is twins low temperature here is what high temperature now when boron react with the excess of ammonia at high temperature what happens is twins it will form boron nitride understanding so here the temperatures are very important twins it is forming adduct here it is forming what boron nitride when diborin react with ammonia in one ratio two proportion at high temperature to form borazin it is also see the, the proportion is very important students so it will form borazin understanding students so if you write down the reaction students it will be like this this is diboron react with one ratio two form it and it will form borazin this is the structure of borazin b3 n3 s6 borazin we call as what borazin now what happens students diboron react with chlorine gas it will form boron trichloride and six scl molecules diboron 
is also reacting with water molecules and it is forming boric acid this is boric acid students it is called as what boric acid and you are getting what hydrogen gas will be eliminated now diboran is also react with ethyl alcohols if you add borans in ethyl what happens students it will form boron ethoxide triethoxide and there is a elimination of hydrogen gas so these are very very important property for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you